There's several things. You know, one big thing is obviously know your state laws. Uh, all the laws in the states are different as far as having uh, needing a CDL driver's license to pull certain weights. Um, so you obviously need to get a, a truck and a trailer that's equipped for that. This is a little over 20,000 pounds, or roughly three times the weight of the truck. To do that in a very confident manner, Silverado has just a variety of equipment. It starts with a stable foundation, um, a ladder frame, um, welded through cross members, um, heavy duty suspension, and then beyond that, we add um, what we kind of call the driver confidence piece of it, which is having the power to be able to accelerate when you need to, slow down when you need to, and actually be confidently in control. Equipment trailers, typically the coupler is only rated for around 14,000. Uh, you go to a gooseneck like this, the coupler on this is actually rated for 30,000. Um, and then you go above this would be a fifth wheel hookup. They're, you know, they're rated up higher than that. So it, the, the coupler, the tires and suspension, they're pretty important. On average with a heavy duty truck, most people total around 10,000. 10,000 pounds, you probably would hardly even feel it behind you. When you get into this much weight, there's a lot of mass back there. So it does tend to push you and all of the systems need to work together to be able to stop the vehicle. So you literally, if you're coming up to where you have to like pull off the road or stop, if you just take your foot off the brake, um, the exhaust brake kicks in and as the exhaust brake starts to slow the vehicle, the transmission will downshift at the same time to slow the vehicle down. And if you have enough distance, it will actually take you down to you know, 15, 20 miles an hour without ever hitting the brakes. But if you do hit the brakes, all of the systems actually work together to be able to slow the vehicle. Talk with your trailer dealer about what you're going to buy or what you're going to be hauling and they can help you make the best choice because you don't want to get a light trailer and haul a heavy load. You want to make sure the trailer can hold the capacity that you're putting on it day in and day out. And Big Tech's trailers are built for the professional use for, for day in, day out, wear and tear because we know that at the end of the day they've got to rely on that trailer to haul their equipment to a job site or, or whatever it may be to, to make a living. So they're built for that.